Hi, I'm Barbara Bernstein from BetterTeachingNow.com, and I'm going to, in this video, discuss decimals, how we compute with them and what they mean. So, a decimal is a little dot on a line, kind of toward the bottom of the line, and anything to the right of it is like a fraction. It, it's less than one. So if I have 0.2, call the decimal, and this is a 2 after the decimal on the right side. I'm going to explain what that means in a minute. To explain the meaning of numbers, decimal numbers, that come to the right of the decimal sign, let me start by discussing the meaning of numbers to the left of a decimal sign. So an ordinary number might, that you would see might be something like 30, 35. And you know from your experience that what this means is five ones and three tens. So we group these um, since we have what we call a decimal system, a system based on groupings of tens. Um, if I have 35 coins or 35 crackers or, or something uh, and I want to write it symbolically in, with no, uh, in terms of numbers, we sort of group the three sets of 10, and that's what the second number means. And we, we have five of our crackers or whatever it is left over, so it doesn't make a whole other grouping of 10, so we just write it in the ones place. This is five ones and three tens. What is 587. Well, this is the ones place, this is the tens place, this is the hundreds place. Once we get nine groupings of 10, when we get the next grouping of 10, that's 10 tens, we call it a grouping of 100. And when we have nine groupings of 100, and we get one more group of 100, we call it a one group of 1,000. So we keep bumping up to another digit over, another place value over, when we get certain groupings of numbers, and this is the way we represent them. So this means seven ones, eight tens, and five one hundredths. One hundredths. All right, what about this? Eight ones, three tens, one grouping of a hundred, six thousands, nine ten thousands, this is four one hundred thousands, and this is three million. So this is the ones place, the tens place, the hundreds place, this is the thousands place, the ten thousands place, the hundred thousands place, and this is the millions place. So this is how we express whole numbers. And what we do with decimals is the same thing. So if I have 0.1, that means 1 tenth. If I have 0.13, it means 1 tenth and 3 one hundredths. This is the hundredths place. It's kind of hard now to pronounce. Now I'm trying is this, hundredths. So I'm not saying hundreds, I'm saying hundredths. Okay, this is the hundredths place. If I wrote that, this is the thousandths place. This is the ten thousandths place, etc. Now, let's see what this means in terms of converting a decimal into a fraction. Okay, so suppose we have, um, 0.37. This is the same as 3 tenths, because that's what it means the first place behind the decimal, and this means 7 hundredths, the second place behind the decimal. So altogether, this is going to be equal. Now I can't add these because they've got different denominators. So I can only add fractions with the same denominator, because they're like apples and oranges. 
But I can get this to the same denominator as the other number by multiplying 3 tenths times 10 over 10. And I'll be adding 7 one hundredths. So this is 3 times 10 is 30 hundredths plus 7 hundredths is 37 hundredths. Now I want you to notice that the way it worked out is that I could have read this 37 and used the place value of the last number to the right. This is the hundredths place. I could read this as 3 tenths and 7 one hundredths, but that's the same as 37 hundredths. Let's see if that always works out. What about 0.682? This is the tenths place. This is the hundredths place. This is the thousandths place. I want to point out something to you. When you go to numbers to the right side of the decimal point, there's no one, ones place. So if you have whole numbers on the left side, this is only the hundreds place. The third one over is the hundreds place, but the second one in the other direction is the hundredths place. So it it's doesn't work the same on the two sides. And that's because ones are just one whole thing. We're talking on this side, on the right side, behind the decimal point is how they refer to it. We're talking about parts of one. So there's no ones place. So th these are basically fractional amounts on this side of the decimal. So you have just to be a little careful about that. This is the tens place, nine. But this, the first place behind the decimal, is the tenths place. OK, so let's look at this. Uh, 0.682 is equal to 6 tenths and 8 one hundredths. And 2 one thousandths. So this is equal to, if I multiply the top and the bottom of this fraction by 100, I would get to a, have a denominator of 1,000. So this is 600 thousandths. This is, I want to get this to be thousandths, so I can add these fractions. And I can only add fractions with the same denominator. If I multiplied. 100 times 10, I get thousandths, so 8 has to be multiplied by 10, so it's 80. And for the last number, I've already got a thousandths on the denominator, so I don't need to multiply by anything or change the value. 680 and 2 is 682 over 1,000. So once again, the last value to the right of the decimal was the tenths, hundredths, and thousandths place. And if I read this as a fraction, I could have said 682 thousandths.